I'm not sure if this has been asked before, but I was wondering navigating dating apps. I'm just getting back in the headspace of dating after taking some time out for myself after the break of a relationship early last year. Anyway, I've plunged into the dating app world and made profiles on Tinder, Bumble and Hinge to experiment a bit. Any suggestions you can make for non-macho dudes who aren't muscle freaks or care for good or witty... Or wait, or care for or good at witty chat duck lines. Ah, or who care for and are good at witty chat up lines. Also, what's your preference or general etiquette in terms of asking folks out on dates? Should you speak a bit first or just cut the messaging back and forth and go straight for IRL hangs? Thanks, I'm sorry if these questions are basic. You both rule. Okay, so. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. So uh, we kind of covered this in episode one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, we dropped some viewers. What the hell? Is our explicit material not like too much for you what's going on guys well how many are we on like one like four well the four and hi and hello hi, and, and so hi and hi and yes great. yes thank you <laughs> so yeah i mean in general how to do online dating what is that are we good oh, we got heart oh a little comment as well it says i have to go home and a a a a <laughs> has a great ring to oh. it <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're probably gonna rebrand mm -hmm. at some point. Yeah. Anyways. So, so back to the question. Yeah. Online dating. Yeah. So we sucks. sort of covered online dating a little bit in the in the last episode because mm. someone was asking explicitly about it. I mean, what's interesting is that clearly, this is a thing that a lot of people have anxiety about how to do online dating, and so it's good that we're talking about it like more often, I guess, because yeah, like it's come up so many times that everyone is freaking out, like you know, the lack of IRL actual meetings and this is what people are turning to. So. Yeah, I think uh, we are so busy in our lives and no one really wants to be just on another platform and that. So I would say that as soon as you can jump on the IRL aspect of it, the better, the, the sooner, the better. Yeah, because he was asking, I think he, I mean, they were asking yeah. whether to message back and forth or just ask a question. I'm always in favor of just asking a question, but because I'm a woman, if I just say like, hey, cut the chat, let's go for a drink, it's not a threatening or dodgy thing to do. And if you are a dude, you probably have to do a bit of bants before you get there, but please do not do, and I said this before, please do not do, how was your day? Oh my God, like, yes, please. Do? Oh God, no, 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 no. That's like universally. And I yeah. think that's quite universal, yeah. even with like, yeah, no with the ladies that we've spoken with. Because like, you have to get real. If someone's on an online dating platform, you're probably not the only person they're talking to. And therefore, you're probably not the only person they're telling about their day that, that day, like. Yeah. Also, you can totally ask the person being like, hey, why are you on this platform? Like, wh what, what is it that you'd like to get out of this? Well, I mean, there, maybe there's a cuter, flirtier way to, to, to ask that, but we say, hey, so what do you, yeah, wh what is it that you'd like to get out of this, mm. out of this encounter? Um, and then perhaps they would, you know, they're like, oh, just someone to talk to or like someone to fuck. You know, again, there's like, you would sort of, or, or a relationship potential. I don't know, basically you then understand how to even navigate that particular um, encounter? Yeah, because I've gone on Tinder for both. Like, I've gone on Tinder for a relationship, and I had one, and it was great. And I've also gone on <laughs> Tinder for a fuck, and I had one, and it was great. Like, but you can't assume one when you have the other, you know? Yeah. And, like, and yet I'm fascinated that they're registered on all of these different platforms. Yeah, Hinge I actually had Bumble. to. Yeah, yeah, so, so Hinge one is, it makes more of. Um, it, it, it's uh, it's more connected to Facebook, so it sort of makes connections as to your likes and friends, I suppose, oh, like okay. which is interesting. So I guess it shows your interest a bit more. And then Bumble is the one where women initiate. Oh, I was on that for a bit, but it, yeah, yeah, I didn't like there weren't many people on it when I was on it, like two years ago, so maybe yeah. it's bigger now. It just seems it's amazing that you're even um, you're covering so many dating sites all, at the same time because that's like a lot of admin as well. I'm wondering if it makes sense to just perhaps focus on on one, you know, because I'm also wondering why you're not using OkCupid because I mean maybe I'm like old school or something, but I remember when I was on OkCupid, it was the best one because you could write quite a long pla you could write quite a long like personal statement. That's not the word profile. Well, yeah. And you'd also answered like hundreds of questions, and you had like a real match percentage based on actual like actual things like. But that's a lot of labour like, as well. Penalty and stuff. Yeah, but for me, like you, I only want to fuck people who aren't. Tories, right? Oh, like, you see, we had this discussion. Yeah. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, but I do. Like, even just for like a shag, I need I need to know that. And so, like for me, it was really useful to know that. Okay, we have ethical principles. Like, even if I just want to bang you, so I'm just like curious why you're not using. Okay so Cupid, apparently, so. Hinge is like oh, is like okay, Cupid, but like snappier and quicker because it shows your interest. But if it's just like Facebook groups that I've liked and I like. Oh well, yeah, then you can like, you can tell. Like everyone likes classical art memes. Like classical art memes is hilarious. You'd be so. surprised. Mm. 
But I wouldn't assume someone that was on my wavelength politically. But then not everyone wants to fuck someone who's on my wavelength politically. Like, <laughs> I'm realizing this. This is yeah. why I don't get laid very much. <laughs> not from the sounds of the podcast. Yeah, that's true. I'm like, blowjob, blowjob. I saw your finger. Like, but, um, no, I'm talking from limited experience. You know how you had a, 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 a break to get, like, cigarettes? Can I have a break to reapply my lipstick? I mean, it's it's solid. Is it solid? It's solid, yeah. I'm feeling like I've left a lot of it on the kin- on oh, the thinnies. Oh, so, so have I. Like, my first one is, like, an orange smear. But, no, you've got the good one. It's, yeah, it's, it's still it's... good. You can still see it. I'm going for the, for the sort of, like... Lipstick thing? <laughs> <laughs> for the sort of, I'm a strong woman. <laughs> you look like a strong woman. <laughs> see, I'm going for a, I'm a 1950s depressed poet. That, yeah, I think you got it. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. So, getting back to the question, yeah. I, I don't know. It's thank you so much again for asking. But uh, we, I think, probably we should refer you mostly to our third question. Well, third answer in episode two. And first answer episode one, I think, was also about etiquette and date online dating. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, let's see if there are specific bits in this question that would be of importance. Oh, okay, so something about like the fact that they're not muscle freaks or or so. Okay, so this is interesting because yeah, I have opinions about that. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, no, okay, so um, something to be said, I'd say in general about go- good photographs. It doesn't matter oh, whether you're like a muscle freak or not. Like, you know, don't just make, don't just do selfies. I mean, you can like some of my profiles are also just Mine just selfies or whatnot, selfies. but um. I don't know, get someone to perhaps do a few good pictures of you, put a little nice filter to it. I mean, I don't know, like, I definitely just skip through, like, the, the, the blurry, shitty oh, pictures. Oh, yeah, no, it has like, to be a good picture. It, yeah. I have several ones because, like, okay, I don't like when people have a group of their friends as their picture because I'm like, which one's you? Yeah, 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 and that's also, for sure. Like, that are sucks. you shagging some of these people in a picture? Like, those, that's what I think, you know. But, like, one of you doing something interesting, like, for example, one of mine, like, not my first one is just, like, my beautiful face that I took in a toilet but my second one is me on stage because I do um, comedy and so it's like it's also a thing for them to ask questions about so if you've done something interesting put a picture of the interesting thing that you've done because that can also be a conversation starter like but definitely invest in the pictures yeah 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 I mean it's very in vain and terrible to say but this but it's just apps are. that's what dating apps are it just yeah. is and I make them yeah I mean I should probably do like a NHS for lefties or an get the ants practical bit where I literally Literally show you on Photoshop how to really, really enhance certain features, how to like uh, hide spots and stuff like that. I, I don't do it as much as I used to, honestly, like just because I've like given up, like I just have bad skin, like and my eyebrow is good, so like the, the contrast is there, it's fine. <laughs> but um but yeah, there's definitely um yeah, I think pictures are sadly very important and if you can just invest in those and not necessarily get like a professional photographer because one can see one stuff is fake as well but um, you know, just like if you're feeling confident on the night out you know, just ask your friends to take a few good pictures and, and definitely use those Yeah, and also if you're like talking to a woman or a, the other person don't necessarily go for the first, per- first thing in their bio because for example I put on my bio once a long time ago that I've since taken off that I studied history and then every single person asked me about history and I was like you know what, I don't fucking care about talking about my degree. Like, well, in general, so, you don't want to talk about like yeah. that deep stuff on a dating app. Yeah, it's like, like, mate. Come up with some funny one-liners, opening shots, like a funny meme that makes yourself seem a bit self-deprecating or whatever. Make yourself seem approachable. Yeah. And like, you don't have to do like the muscle shot because I, unless well. I just... Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is where I differ. Like, if I wanted to date someone, I wouldn't go for the muscle shot. If I wanted to bang, I would go for the muscle shot. I you don't know. You, you, like, you like muscles. Though. I'm not really into muscles. I'm more into like a good woolly jumper. Like if I like a, no, a woolly jumper on a muscle body. <laughs> That's the dream. <laughs> so if you've got both a woolly jumper and a muscle body, call us. This whole project is literally just the way for us to get. No, that's not true. No, we're, true. we're both not. Now, no. now Reddit, that now Kotaku in action is gonna just cut that bit. Well, who? 
the the Reddit oh, bad the people. Baddies. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. But 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 we're good. Uh, <laughs> but um, wait. Well, so there was another bit I just read. Yeah. So you've just gone out of a breakup early last year. That yeah, that sucks. Obviously, that's gonna make a dent to your confidence. But it's good that you've plunged into it. Ooh, 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 I have a thought. So so in terms of uh, date ideas, as I sort of I want to go back to the thing that we said at the beginning of the show. There's just Okay, so I'm definitely using London privilege here, but London can be such an exciting place to be and there, there's so many undiscovered little bits like, you know, bits you can drink between two railway bridges that no one knows of and, you know, different lakes or like Shadwell Basin and mm-hmm. just like lots of sexy yeah, little nooks. bits that are like nooks exactly that no one really knows about that you can just create really spontaneous, fascinating dates at um, that that people will just feel like they found something new you know I don't know if it's worth it just to go well unless it's a hookup but yeah of course go with weather spoons yeah, and yeah, fucking yeah. home that's fine you know but if some if it's someone you actually want to charm then take them so much charming yeah and London is actually fucking and beautiful makes, like that it makes that. someone feel like you thought about them if you're like hey I'd really like to take you to this thing yeah like it's, it's, a, it's a nicer feeling go to like parliament hill about. and bring some fireworks you know something yeah, like that sparklers. you know yeah champagne, champagne. yeah no but again a communal experience yeah. we're all so uh just just wishing of those more in our lives that yeah something of creating a moment out of it yeah. you know then that would be that's yeah there's something really fascinating there. and if you do want to cut the chat and just ask someone on a date just say like look like I like your profile. Um, if you want to chat more in here first, that's fine. But otherwise, I really love to get a drink and like get to know you a bit better in person because you know, like fuck dating apps, lol. And like everyone agrees, fuck dating apps. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you can, there's a way of getting to meet them quite quickly without coming across like a creep. Yeah, that's doable. Like, and be like, look, I'll organize this nice little out thing there, and then you go on like Boris bikes, and perhaps you like throw them into the river. Not that I've ever done. That. <laughs> But if you did, we would not judge. <laughs> but basically, I don't know, like, something to be said about spontaneity and making it feel like you two are just two against the world, you know? Like, that there is just... And this is now I'm going to, to the politics of seduction, okay. <laughs> etc., you know? But, um, yeah, it's just... Make make them feel like they're... Well, not only special, but that there's something in your connection that is... That is united in the struggle against... The sort of alienating lives that we live. Yes. Yeah. That was really nice. <laughs>